This morning in Talking Tech, we are helping you look glam, professional, and ready to impress. Oh, I'm always trying to look glam, but it's all about your Instagram photos. Yeah, here to help us out is our friend, Chick Media's Megan Rothschild. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Thanks for hanging around. Yeah, absolutely. You, you are the expert, uh, the foremost authority on this topic. You do such a great job with your social branding. And Thank you. People really have been able to take something away from your segments because you can point us in the right direction. And in this day and age, we want to look our best no matter where we are socially. Yeah, I mean, social media is it's so visual, especially Instagram, that you really do have to have qu high quality photos. And a lot of people get really intimidated by that and think, well, I don't have the money to hire a professional, which is always what I recommend if you really do need high quality photos. But you can do a lot of this stuff yourself with your own cell phone, as long as you have a good one, um, and, and do some editing in hand because I think that people just get really overwhelmed. Yeah, my Razor it. phone really doesn't cut it for uh, my I social profile. <laughs> <laughs> but you were kind enough uh, to show up yesterday, and yes. we have some footage to show everyone to help me look my best uh, on Instagram. So we want to show everyone what we did because we want to make sure that the lighting is just right. We did it here on the Roadshow set. Yes. So you clearly didn't have much to work with. Well, what were we, were we doing here? <laughs> well, so this was actually, a lot of people want to center individuals when they're taking the photo. But I mean, obviously here we wanted to include the Roadshow logo. But remember that if you're going to put any type of graphic or text over the photo, that you want to leave some dead space. Right. You also want to work your angles. I'm so, looking at plenty of dead space so, <laughs> right there on the couch. <laughs> so some people have a good side. Most people have a good side. Know what that is and align yourself into the photo so that your good side is highlighted. Okay, for so sure. here's what we came up with from uh, this is the first photo and it's not touched yet, touched up yet. So that's what we had, yep. which is not bad. You know, he's, yeah. I'd sit next to that guy yeah, in a bus. Yeah, totally. So then it's you, approachable. Thank you. You touched <laughs> it up a little bit. Talk about what you used here. Yeah, so I have two apps that I really love. Airbrush is one of them and then uh, Light Studio, Light, no, I can't even remember the name of it now. I think it's Light Space. Um, it's, it's basically an Adobe product, but they're both either free or really, really cheap. Airbrush helps you blur out the background. If you want to have that more professional look, you can also do um, some light tweaks. You know, there's always the filter or to not filter. That's a big debate. I don't think you want to change how you completely look, but brightening up a photo is okay, is okay in my opinion. Cool. Um, and then we always apply a preset so that everything looks consistent. Okay, and here the final product. Drum roll, please. This is what we came, the, the before and yeah. after right there. Oh, I, I really popped, don't You're I? brightened <laughs> up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think it looks great. And we blurred out the background, but we did keep that that road show in, in view because obviously we wanted to have that as part of the branding. Would, would it kill me to tuck my shirt in for crying out loud? You know, you know? I didn't want to give too much direction <laughs> here. I wanted you to feel like yourself. Thank so. you. I always do with you. And um, also a technique that people use, kind of these staged photos where we're laughing. You and I had some fun with this, but it makes yes. you look casual, doesn't it? Yeah, I call these staged candids. Um, so my trick when I'm when I'm photographing clients or other people is I say, <laughs> do the look at each other and laugh. Right. That's what, and people think it's the most awkward and uncomfortable thing. Thing. So what ends up happening is you actually have an authentic, genuine laugh right. because you're so uncomfortable looking at one another. Well, so you were, you were clearly uncomfortable yeah, pretending I'm I was funny. Yeah, always uncomfortable looking at you. <laughs> As most people are. But then we came up with this. Uh, just having It looks some like fun. we're killing it in we that are, photo. Well, so. In my own mind, I always am. Perhaps that's my problem, but that's great. Uh, and also going outside, changing up the setting is real. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there you are. Uh, this is for your dating profile. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we went outside because the lighting is so much better. Sure. So that's the other thing too is it can be challenging if you don't have a professional camera to actually get good quality photos inside. So when in doubt, head on outdoors because the lighting is always amazing. And this is me telling a paparazzi just to get away. <laughs> but really, all joking aside, Megan, we want to have some fun. We want to look our best because yeah. you really, your social footprint is where people are finding you. Absolutely. And, and if people go to it and it looks like a mess, they may not hire you for whatever it is you're trying to get them to hire you for. So. Absolutely. And there's the final product right there. Oh. <laughs> Stone Cold Fox. Happy Friday, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have another account here, one that does a great job. Talk about this Instagram account. Yeah, so the Barefoot Blazer just did a rebrand, which I really love. And she's really good about, so she's sort of created a page where she does three in a row that have this consistent feel. And there it is right there. Yeah, and I love that she did this. this so she just rebranded, re so she wanted people to know that was her new logo. But if you go down even further a little bit more, she did like three in a row that had a consistent look and feel to it. And that made her page feel really curated. And that's easy to do. So yeah. she's not hiring a photographer. She had her husband take these photos. So. Yeah, you just, like I said, I can't stress enough, you know, anytime I see a page, you actually, I don't want to say I'm judging it from, you know, a negative perspective, right. but you're intrigued and to see what they're doing and, oh, maybe I could learn something from that. Yeah, absolutely. And you can apply these tricks to product, too. It doesn't always have to be just about people. Outstanding. Well, Megan, thank you as always. Yeah, It's thanks. always a pleasure to welcome you here to provide such valuable advice. If you'd like to review these tips or any of Megan's past segments with us, just head on over to Roadshow.com.